Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I have my iPhone 6 Plus and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to install any IPA on your device without any worry of revokes. As you know, those third party app stores have a risk of being revoked and really you do not know when exactly it's going to happen. So this will basically be a very convenient um, option for you and of course you can choose whenever you'd like to refresh your apps although it automatically refreshes them for you so you don't have to worry about putting it up and refreshing so it's great so um, stay tuned First of all, if you're on Windows, you'd need iCloud. So head over to um, Apple's website so that you can get iCloud installed. I already have it. Um, so basically, what you do, you just um, install it, and then afterwards, um, you just select whether you'd like to have all your um, iCloud stuff stored on your PC or not. But basically, all you need is iCloud, and then afterwards, you simply sign in, and then you install Apple Store. So basically, this is it right here. Um, it is made up of two um, components. There is Alt Server, which is what would be running on your PC, and there is Alt Store, which is what would be installed on your phone. So, of course, you have it for macOS, obviously, and then um, there is the beta version for Windows, which works pretty well. Um, so, previously, you weren't able to install IPAs, so that's basically why I have this new video here today. Um, so you install the latest version if you currently have it then obviously all you have to do is just upgrade so you have it for mac os you have it for windows so in my case it's for windows you download and then um, afterwards you install you extract the zip file and you install it um, of course that's providing that you already have icloud installed on your PC. so next what we're going to do is install it Alright, so now for the install. Um, so basically, you extract the file. Now I have it installed already. Um, uh, basically, you can tell by the name of the folder. But anyway, you extract the file and you open up setup. Um, so let's just open this up and continue with the setup. So it's very easy to install, there's nothing much that you have to do. So basically, you see you have an option here. Um, you wouldn't have the option that I'm currently seeing because I have it installed. So um, I can choose whether I'd like to repair it or whether I'd like to remove it. So in your case, you just continue the setup and um, there should be an option where if you'd like it to start up on boot, I'd recommend that you do so because you would need Alt Server running in order to refresh your apps um, on your iPhone. So just ensure that if you see this option to ensure that you have it checked. Otherwise, if you don't, just ensure that you have Alt Server running all the time in the event you have to, well, all the time when you have to refresh your app. So that's basically the installation process. So um, now what I'm going to do is open up Alt Server since I have it installed already. So let me start up with that. All right, so just head over to start. Uh, um, so as you can see right here, I have Alt Server. Um, so let us basically open it up. Um, it should show up soon So when it's done it should show up down here You should see the icon over here And this is basically how you get it installed um, You see my device isn't connected yet You can do the installation via Wi-Fi But I recommend doing it via USB initially And then afterwards you can do your refreshing via Wi-Fi So just ensure that you keep that in mind So now I'm going to go on to my device Alright, so now I'm going to connect my iPhone to my PC. So I'm going to grab the USB cable and um, connect it to your PC. Um, <clears throat> so let me just do that right now. Okay, so I'm connected and just ensure that if you receive the prompt to trust your PC, ensure that you trust it, put in your password and you can see it came up on my PC right now. So <clears throat> in order to install it, you're going to click right here on the icon and you're going to see install alt store and you'd see the name of your device so you're going to select that and you sign in with your apple id so remember on windows if you do not have icloud 
you won't see this prompt and the installation anyway would prompt you to install iCloud so ensure that you have iCloud if you do not then you won't see this prompt all right so after you have entered your info for your account you're now going to click install and um, it would begin the installation process so I am right here um, you should see something over here a prompt saying that um, apps install if I'll store on your other device will stop working so you may not see this message or, or probably you may but just ensure that you click ok so just keep in mind if you have it on other devices then it will stop working yeah, so the installation would start anytime from now and it should show up on our device soon okay and as you can see here it is right over here so i'll stop the install right and um let's open it up just let's allow it to send us notifications um and keep in mind if you're on ios 13.4 um you are limited as to the amount of um, apps that you can sign i think it's a limit of about three apps but however on other ios versions you have up to seven apps on free apple developer accounts so if you have a free account then you have seven and um yeah so just keep that in mind okay so right now i have alt store and like i said you can also come up here in this app to refresh it or it may refresh the apps automatically right so here it is background refresh so just ensure that this is enabled and now to install our ips so to install our ips we go on to well whatever ipa website that you trust my trusted ipa website is ios ninja there's also one provided by twickbox and others but i use the one from ios ninja so i know most of you um like using youtube plus plus which is what i'll install just for the purpose of this video um so here is the download link right there provided by ios ninja so i am going to download it okay so the download should begin okay perfect so here it is right here um if you'd like to save it there's an app called file explorer so in for future if you'd like to just have the youtube plus plus ipa saved you can sit you download uh, file explorer from your app store so you can select open in file explorer and um, when you do so you can choose to save it on your iphone so basically local and um, save it into download which is what i'd do um, on the other hand if you do not want to do that uh, basically what you do is select more and um, from there you should be getting an option to copy to alt store so this is what we do um, though i recommend using file explorer but um, let's do copy to alt store so it should open up alt store anytime from now and then you should be able to see a progress right on top as you can see right now this means that it is installing youtube plus plus so let's wait for that not sure how long it will take though but um this new update actually addresses a few issues with the um duration of the installation before it took quite a while to install the ips um uh, however it says now that that should be faster all right so you see basically here's the problem see couldn't find alt server um so just ensure that you have alt server running if not connect your device to your so i'm going to try again okay so it should start the installation now And again you have to sign in so just sign in with your apple id
all right so the installation of youtube plus plus has been complete so let us go on now to our home screen um it should show up um here it is right here so we're going to open it up so here it is you can tell the difference youtube plus plus um let me just play a sample video all right so i'm going to allow it to play in the background right so the video is playing i'm going to close youtube and it's still running so as you can see right here and i can control it as well so awesome let me turn off my screen it also works all right so yeah we've come to the end of the video for today uh, just before i leave you guys so remember alt store always keep alt store running so that you can refresh your apps but remember you must have alt server running on your pc this is very important make sure that you have alt server running and to tell that alt server is running you would see this icon either right here or over here if it's not then just head over to start or wherever you have it located and you're going to run it again and just ensure that it's running on your pc if you have a desktop then i'd recommend what you do is um, keep your desktop running i guess which is what i'd do um, if you have a laptop well you can do the same though i wouldn't recommend doing such on a laptop um, but anytime you want to refresh your app just ensure that your pc is running so that um, alt store would be able to connect to our server um, so you do so by just simply tapping you see where you see days right here you just tap on that and then the apps would refresh or if you'd like to refresh both of them you can just select refresh all um, so that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching be sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a big thumbs up see you guys in the next video have a good one